Hello and welcome to school on Halloween. This is your instructional video on how to play the market in wheat simulation. So half the class, that's going to be about, oh I don't know, 12 of you. Half of you are going to be sellers. Each of you is going to get a seller's card. Each of you will get one seller's card. Your seller's card will read something like this, but each different seller's card will have a different number on it. It'll go like this. You are authorized to sell one bushel of wheat for as much as possible. You're a seller, you want to make a lot of money. If you sell for less than, this card says $7, you will lose money. So, you could sell for $7. Great. Uh, your, your net profit is zero. If you sell for eight, you will make a dollar. If you sell for six, you will lose a dollar. Now what you're going to do, everybody as they make transactions, is going to record their transactions on this sheet of paper. Uh, at the top it says circle, and you can see this here. I am a seller. If you are a buyer, you circle the other one. Um, this is for two rounds. You're only going to fill this out once. We're only going to play one round. I think you'll get the point. So if you are a seller, you will say, on my card, it says that I should sell for at least $7. Well, I happen to sell it for $9 because I'm fantastic at business. So in the transaction, 9 I made a profit of $2. If I were to have sold it for $4, I would make a loss of 3 So I made one transaction as a seller. On the card it said 7 In the tra transaction, I sold it for 9 I made a profit of 2 I am done with this card. I'm going to take it up to Maddie at the front of the room, or the side of the room, and I'm going to exchange it randomly for a different card. Now you'll figure out that there's some good cards and there's some bad cards, but whatever you're assigned, that's the breaks. You've got to deal with it and play the game, and as soon as you make a transaction, even if you're trying to minimize a loss, get a new card, keep moving on. Okay, that's if you're a seller. The other half of the class, you are buyers. Really similar card, exact same sheet, you say, I'm a buyer. This card says you are authorized to buy one bushel of wheat, paying as little as possible. Again, you're a consumer, you want to save your money, you don't want to... Uh, give more money away for a bushel of wheat than you need to. So, this one says if you spend more than four dollars, you will lose money. Okay, so uh, selling for four means you break even. Selling for, excuse me, buying for three dollars means uh, you, you got a good bargain, so you, you saved a dollar. And if you were to purchase for five dollars, say you lose it all. So again, you record it the same way. You say, well. Uh, I'm a buyer. <clears throat> On the card it says $4. I actually made a transaction for 5 so there's no profit. In fact, there's a loss of $1. Okay. So that's how it goes. You are going to find any of the buyers or the sellers. Again, this is kind of like the other simulation that we did. Everybody in the, in the room is in the market. You go find the best deal that you can find. Make the transaction. Go back. Get a new card from Maddie. Each time you have to write down your transaction. So this is a little more uh, paperwork and bookkeeping than the previous simulation that we did. Okay. So that's one round of the simulation. You guys are going to have mm, probably no more than 10 minutes to do this. I don't think you'll need more than 10 minutes. Everybody has to fill out their transactions to be entered in the, the chance to win. The, the chance to win extra credit on test number two coming up next week. So you have to make six transactions to be eligible for um, the extra credit. So go through, get six different cards, make six different transactions. It could be with the same person. It could be with six different people. And then you are going to figure out what your average price was. So just add up the transactions. Not what it said on the card. Add up the transactions, and that is going to be the equilibrium price for you that you paid or that you sold at, depending on if you're a seller or a buyer. So, once everybody has had a chance to make as many transactions as they can, and you're welcome to make more than six. Uh, maybe you can't make six in ten minutes, but the goal is to make at least six. So once the uh, simulation is done, Maddie's going to cut you off at time. You're going to go through and figure out what your equilibrium price is. So each of the sellers, if there's 12 of you, if there's good attendance on Halloween, there should be, um, you are going to figure out what your average sales price was. For all the buyers, you're going to average out all the, um, the prices that you paid to buy your wheat. You're going to figure out what your average buying price was. 
So Maddie is going to then take those prices on the board and determine the winner and the loser. So for buyers, well, I know that Declan is thrifty. So he might have an average buying price of $2.50. And you are welcome to come up with um, decimals. You don't have to just trade on the dollar. And um, who is really generous? I would say Maria is really generous. She would offer $10 for every bushel of wheat. So Declan, in this case, would be the winner of the buyer. Sellers. We all know that Claudia is cutthroat. She's fantastic at business. She was able to charge $8 in every transaction. And let's see. Um, who's generous? Well, I would say Tylesia is generous. She gave a lot of coupons out. And she sold uh, most of her bushels of wheat for an average of $5. So what we're going to do with the class now is average all of these prices out to determine our overall equilibrium price for the market in wheat. So we've got $10, $250, that's $12.50, $20.50, and $25.50, that's $25.50, that's $25.50, and $25.50 divided by 4. Can't do that math in my head, so we'll just call it um, $8.50, $6.50. $6.50. The equilibrium price of Claudia, Tylesia, Maria, and Declan is $6.50. Now, almost every time that I've ever done the simulation, there is an answer that these, these little uh, pieces of paper are calculated to work out towards. And uh, as soon as we are done, you guys are running the simulation. In this case, Claudia gets the extra credit, and Declan gets the extra credit. As soon as we're done, we will tell you, Maddie will tell you, what the actual answer is and see how close you are. But the forces of supply, the forces of demand in an open market, in a free market, should result in pushing the price down if it's too high or pushing the price up from the sellers if it's too low, meeting at an equilibrium price over time that should be an average. So that's how you do the market in wheat simulation. Good luck.